Today we're going to talk about how to control what you can control and what does that mean? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. The only thing that you have control over out there on the mound is you, right? Your mind, your body, that is it. Once that pitch leaves your hand, everything that happens after that is completely out of your control. You don't know if the guy's gonna hit the ball, put it in play, maybe it goes to your shortstop. You don't know if he's gonna make an error or if he's gonna field it and then throw it cleanly to first. We have no idea. If the hitter doesn't swing, that's up to the umpire, right? Maybe he calls a strike a ball and a ball a strike. We don't know, but we can't keep remembering all of those things that happen that are outside of our control and let that affect our performance on the mound. So I have to remember one thing, right? The only thing that we have control over out there on the mound are our thoughts. What are we thinking? And so if I can control my mind, then I can control my body. And if I can control my body, then I'm able to have the ability to command that strike zone. And that's it, okay? So simplify the game out there and understand that it's only you that you have control over. We think that we can dictate what happens with the entire game, right? After every pitch, and, but we can't. Again, that ball leaves your hand, that's it, it's out of your control. When you get the ball back, now you're back in control of the tempo and you can start taking control of this, your mind, and focusing on the very next pitch, right? So control what you can control. Your body and your mind, that is it. That's it. So simplify the game and let everything else go. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Twitter, at The Pitcher Shop, and check us out at thepitchershop.com where we can help with your overall pitching development, both physical and mental.